Alright guys, you uh, join me on this very lovely morning, definitely. It's your way to go, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm actually on my way to meet some people to go for a ride. So I do hope that the weather improves because otherwise I'm going to just be cold. And I don't know how well you can see, but uh, it's actually improved since getting cash out. Um, but the visibility is 200 meters, probably. And it doesn't help that I've got a tinted visor on because uh, it's not that bad actually. I thought it would be sunny later. So I don't really want to have a clear visor. Fingers crossed it will improve. The last couple of days it's actually been like this in the morning and then gone. And then it has improved later on, so. I'll get back to you later when I'm a bit closer to meeting them. It's terrible how the cars actually don't have much... If they've got their lights on, their fog lights, then they are so crap. This car, I couldn't see it for shit. It's white, in a fucking white fog. Then you've got this tiny little light, that's actually the brightest of them all. And then those two little ones. You can't see it in... Fucking dangerous. I literally could only see it from about just a bit further where that red car is now. Alright you know, guys, as you can see it's turned out to be such a lovely day. Visibility is improved massively. And uh, there's two guys over there and I'll be honest, I have no idea if they're the people I'm meeting or not. I only know one person of the group that I'm meeting. Um, so yeah, that's a bit embarrassing. Might as well turn off the bike. Alright, so... I'll, uh, come back to you guys later. Well guys, that was a bit embarrassing. Um, they weren't. Uh, but we might have some more people joining the group. Because I told them about it. And, uh... I just realised the time, which is why they're not going to have been any of them. I'm an hour early, so I've got an hour to kill. And I would ride around, but then I haven't got much, I've got a hundred miles on my tank. I was just working out whether I'm actually able to do that today. As in, shit, I better fill up actually. I think it's about 36 miles we're going today. So that there, that back. But then I have no idea how many miles it is home. So I might get stranded. Woohoo! And then I'm going out again tomorrow. And I have no money to do this. But luckily tomorrow is only a bike meet in Bedford. So it's just in town. But yeah. Well. Obviously, I'm not going to leave the camera on for an hour while I wait. Because um, I'll be bored. You'll be bored. And F all will be happening. So, uh, I'm going to go again. And uh, I'll probably come on closer to the time because people will start getting here then. And then, who knows. I don't know. I'll come back when I am. Right, see ya. You're on. Alright guys, so uh, 
met up with these guys from Facebook. We got Chris on uh, GPZ 500. Got two Steves, one on a Super Blackbird and one on a ZX6R. You wait until he starts up. There we go. Just a little bit. <laughs> Mine's nothing. I haven't actually seen a black jigsaw before. It's very nice. So I have no idea where we're going. We're going to a place called On Your Bike. Um, I think it's an open day. So we'll see what it's like. Um, I'm going to put this on YouTube so uh, to all my subscribers from around the surrounding area uh, if you are in the Hearts, Beds and Bucks region then uh, check out the Facebook page Hearts, Beds, Bucks, Bikers and uh, we're organising ride outs and this is the first proper one that I've been on I've met Steve behind me before. Uh, I've only met him once before uh, and that's it. Um, so it's my first time meeting the other Steve and Chris.